I wanted to talk about the called X Factor Strat for Batroon. This is where the X Factor is set up early on the right side of the room, and then the particles bounce around, and then they end up on the left side just in time to hit Batroon as as it first appears. Let's demonstrate that. Just like that. So we can see here on the top left corner, there's that 1800 number. That's Batroon's current health. Batroon starts at 3000. And then each X Factor particle does 300 damage. And so we can see that all four X particles hit. Uh, so let's break down how this works here. So starting out in this room, you want to have power bombs selected. Um, you, of course, want to have only the uh, charge and wave beam. So we can do a special beam attack for X-Factor. You want to have this door open so we can run through. Um, although there, there is a backup I may cover a little bit later, what happens if you like bonk the door and you don't have good run speed. But it is easier to have good run speed. It's not that important how much run speed you have, just having some good speed so you get to that right wall. So let's uh, through here. And then, oh, and do not shoot through the door. You want to run through the door without holding shoot. You hold shoot during the transition. And um, actually, I'll talk about this room for a little bit. So let's go ahead and uh, kill Batroon so it won't bother us. So we're going to enter the room. You run. Um, most important thing about this strat is where Samus is when you start the X Factor. And where she is about the midpoint of the X Factor. So like the first time the particles cross over in an X, right around here. And then the second location, Samus should be right around here. This 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 column here. So like you want to start from about here. Maybe touching that hole just a little bit to the left of the hole, uh maybe. This is probably too far right. This probably would still work, although it's kind of pushing it. So right about in here. And then you want to be here for the second part. Maybe a little bit. Maybe about right here. And I have the cannon touching the, the hole. This works pretty well. Um, and you can nudge forward at the at the very end if you want to fire your supers from, say, this location. You can kind of nudge forward and do that. That's totally fine. It's more about where you are kind of in the middle where the second, the part of the cross over a second time. Um, and all that fancy movement we do, like where we run around and we do this, we do this, this is all just to normalize the movement. It's just to make sure we actually have to be in the air for this part. Uh, for what, for when the X Factor gets released. And so just doing that movement of running to the end and then jumping, it just helps normalize uh, the movement so we're in the right spot at the right time. Um, it doesn't actually matter um, when you start turning. Like, you know, you don't have to wait until you bonk the ceiling. You can start turning earlier. Um, and I actually recommend that to get kind of in this position, just make sure you're in this position in time. You do not want to be moving as the X particles are appearing. Um, so that's another reason to get in this. In fact, let me, uh, that makes more sense to just start demonstrating this. So that's kind of typically what I'm going for here. So we could see, like, it doesn't matter how early we start moving. We can kind of go late. It's a little bit later. But we wouldn't want to be too late. Okay, that still worked. That was a little bit iffy. I was barely far enough over. Um, that'll probably work too, actually. I got over further than I was intending to for this demonstration. <laughs> you do it wrong. There. Oh, that still worked. Interesting. You can't be this far over though, surely. Yeah, at some point it starts to fail. That's interesting that you can be actually more, can be more over than uh, than I thought. That's good enough. Uh, one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to make like a late adjustment. So like I try to move late there. See how that kind of messed up the particles. So like, don't, oh, don't like kind of freak out. Try to move late. That one did work. I kind of got away with it that time, but I would not. If you're like moving when the particles come out, it just kind of messes them up. 
Another thing you don't want to do is turn around. Oh, that went too far. You know. Yeah, it's just kind of, they all get messed up. Never turn around. If you think, oh shoot, I went too far, just just roll with it. It may work out. That one just barely missed, so it's just a little bit too far. But it's still, I mean, turning around is never going to work like that, doing that extra turn around. Uh, another thing you don't want to do, you don't want to jump early and do like a spin jump. See, like, the x fartals was, or first off, they're all messed up. Secondly, they're coming out way later because we did a spin jump. If you jump, let's see if we can demonstrate this. If you jump just as you bonk this wall, and of course now I can't do it. <laughs> I don't think it's frame perfect. Now I'm doing spin jumps. Yeah, I'm having a hard time doing it. If you jump just as you bonk this wall, there's like a bonk animation and it interrupts your jump for a few frames. If you, your jump just won't count. Uh, so that's another thing you want to do. Fortunately, you can kind of jump somewhat late. Yeah, that was a little bit too late. Maybe not that late. <laughs> that one still worked. So you can't be super late. But you can definitely be late enough to make sure that you aren't going to that you aren't going to uh, accidentally spin jump. You should never be spin jumping. You're jumping way too early for spin jumping. I'm still trying to get that. Can't seem to get it on command. Now you can actually, you can wait until you see Samus at that wall. Okay, that one was probably made a mistake. I probably made a mistake with my move in here. I was probably a little bit too far forward, forward here. So let's talk about that too. Oh, there I did it. <laughs> did it when I wasn't trying to. Yeah, see that? I must have been sitting right there. Um, if you run like all the way up here at the beginning. Okay, so that still worked. But sometimes that will not work. Uh, and by the way, you can actually walk this distance. You've got plenty of time. Uh, thanks, thanks, Peter, for that suggestion that you can actually be walking for this part. Yeah, that was a little bit wild. Why did that fail? Because I kind of stopped here. This is too early. You want to be close to here. You can stutter a bit with this one. See, that still worked. It kind of got in, I, I was stopped a little short and then I got in the position in time. Um, so running would make that maybe a little bit, you have a little bit more time to make that adjustment. But also, I'm not trying to say it. But it's also like if you run, the problem with running, oops, you know, and then once you run too far, you're kind of toast. Because again, trying to save it. Yeah, it doesn't work trying to turn around like that. So I recommend doing the walking. And you can walk just a little bit forward. If you end up a little bit short, you can kind of nudge forward just to give yourself a little bit of extra security. Um, and if you walk forward too far, that's yeah, still going to work. This this jet it's usually gonna work. I, I would recommend being right about here. Thanks, Austin. Recommend being like right about here, I'd say. This is where you wanna be. But if you end up here, it may work. And you're better off just, just hoping it works as opposed to trying to turn around and adjusting. But if you're short of that point, you can just do a little nudge forward. And then after you nudge forward, like while you're standing here. That's a good time to switch to your supers, and then you can nudge forward one more time. You could be in better position to get a super off. That was a little early. I got away with it. I I did my final nudge early that time, and you could see the particles almost missed. Don't I wouldn't recommend that. So yeah, that was much better to the the nudge later. And 
that might be it. That might be all there is to it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to cover. Oh, um, what happens if you have like terrible run speed coming into the room, like you bonk the door or something? So what what you can do is instead of jumping the full height, it's basically the same as getting here late. So like doing a really late jump here. And you can see what I did differently there, other than missing much with the super. Um, I didn't, I didn't jump the full height. So the normalized movement is to jump until you walk to the ceiling, and that's definitely better. It's better to get the run speed going to the room because then you get the normalized jump to the full ceiling. But if you know either this jump was really late or you had bad run speed coming to the room, so you got to the wall late, so that, that means by extension your jump's going to be later than it should be, you can compensate for that. Oh, interesting. If you hold shot, it keeps your momentum here. I'm trying to, like, simulate having the bad spread speed, but also shooting on time. Yeah, this... And, and another thing is, like, doing these extra turnarounds also affects, like, the movement a little bit. That's not gonna work, because I, I didn't... I didn't... I was too focused on doing my shot here, but... That didn't quite work, it was close. Oh, I got away with that. The reason why that looked so weird, and actually that didn't even do the full damage, the reason that one looked so weird is because I'm, I'm like, not sitting in this room over right. Let me, uh, let me go back up here. Oh yeah, I need to go back that one. Oh, uh, actually, this. Okay. Whoops. I bonked the door. So if we go for our normal setup, that didn't quite work. The X factor ends up coming out too high. It was our jump was too late. So to compensate, oops, don't hit shoot early. That won't work either. Hold it through the door. That was almost on the ground. Yeah, that's not going to work either. So this is another reason why I recommend having the door open for that normalized movement. But we should be able to make this work. There we go. So just compensating by not jumping all the way to the ceiling, jumping maybe about maybe about where this whole height is, and that's again where turning around faster helps. That was too late. That's not gonna work. Oops, I'm holding shoot the door again. Don't do that. <laughs> Press shoot anytime during the door position. So that's what you can do if you bonk the door. If it's if it's a setup that you think you're going to be bonking the door, like you have a decent chance of bonking the door. Um, you know, like worth practicing. You may have noticed those last two X factors looked a little bit different from each other, and that was just because I I kind of had different jump heights. So there are going to be little differences depending on when exactly you do the jump where exactly you're positioned, but if you go for... You now, if you go for being about right here for your for a first X-Factor, being right here for the second X-Factor, you know, the, the normalized movement, even if there are little differences in the X-Factor particles, they should all hit about the same. It shouldn't be a problem trying to get that consistency. So one more time, running through the door, go to the wall. I missed it. Sit there. You don't have to do that. But <laughs> I would, I would go to a different tutorial for advice on how to hit Vachos all the supers. <laughs> but 
But yeah, that's how uh, that's all I got for the uh, X Factor strat. Shout outs to Decalt for coming up with this idea. Uh, that's really useful for getting the one round of Atroon. You only need the six supers, and you can start firing the moles right away. And hopefully these tips will help you make the D-Factor 